How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Ashby Tapes. I'm Brent Fury and today we're going over 10, 10 out of 10 fragrances. I wasn't tagged, I'm tagging myself. Tag, you're it. I'm not big enough to get tagged, so we're gonna do this. This is my designer edition. If you haven't seen my niche edition, you can go ahead and click right here to see that one. And this one, I'm gonna try to make it a little shorter. That one turned out to be like 21-ish minutes long. So we're gonna kind of run through these nice and quick. I'll give you a little overview of them, talk about why I like them. So let's get into it. 10 perfect, 10 out of 10 fragrances in 10 seconds from now. Now, these aren't in any order because they are all 10 out of 10s. And no, this does not mean you are going to like the fragrance. This is just my opinion. All these are great recommendations, but sample them before you buy them. So at the number 10 spot, we have technically a discontinued fragrance, but you can still find it here and there. And it's just one of my favorites. It is just stunning, stunning, stunning. That is Guerlain's Lone EDL Cologne. An amazing fragrance that is discontinued. I don't know why. You put this in a Chanel bottle, this thing would fly off the shelves and be considered a masterpiece. Bergamot, lemon, almond, musk, vetiver. When I first got this, I actually didn't like it. I got it uh about last year about a year ago and i didn't really enjoy it but then i wore it more and wore it more and wore it more my taste changed and i love it so much it, i'm so appreciative of this deeper denser fresh scent that you can wear all summer and springtime long it has a little tropical feel to it it lasts about six hours on the skin projection is moderate but it is an amazing fragrance if you like this fragrance if you've had it and you like it get it now because it is discontinued so it's going to be harder and harder to find i have three backup bottles and we might be doing a giveaway of one of those but there is amazon sellers who can give you this for about 42 bucks that i trust i have again three backup bottles i love this stuff it is just amazing Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, 10 spot, Guerlain Loam, EDL, Cologne, absolute banger. Next one. Now, I took that to California and wore it and reviewed it in California on vacation. And on that vacation, I smelled this, my number nine spot, and that is Amber by Rag and Bone. One of my favorite designer clothing houses. They make super high quality and expensive clothing, but they're worth it, just like this fragrance. It is $150 for 100 mils, but absolutely worth it. Smelted in the Rag & Bone Boutique, went home so I could pay less tax and bought it there. Amazing, amazing date night fragrance, nine hours of performance, and just awesome. It does sit a little bit closer to the skin. It doesn't project like your winter and fall fragrances that we all know and love does. It's not beast mode. Lasts a good amount. Siage is good. Uh, projection is closer so you can draw him or her in when you're on date. Notes, amber, really, wow, crazy whiskey and vanilla and a little bit of bergamot in the top an amazing amazing fragrance what really does this fragrance for me is the boozy aspect of the whiskey mixed in with that liquid amber and vanilla gives it just this very likable fragrance this is a mature fragrance sample it before you buy it not blind buy worthy but something that's grown on me a bunch and i wear on date nights it is mature sexy classy just so so good definitely cold weather scent but you can wear it whenever you want. My date night banger, Amber by Rag & Bone at the number nine spot. And on days like this, when it's 90 degrees out in Minnesota, it feels like 105. So I reach for the number eight spot, 200 milliliters of it. That is Dior Om Cologne, a true classic now in the fragrance community. People are loving this stuff. It is amazing and I get it, I get it. It has white florals, bergamot, and musk. That is what you get from it. It is a super light fragrance. For those high heat days five hours of performance but when you buy a fragrance that's a cologne this is what to expect from it and this one just does the epitome of it a masterpiece in my opinion something that i just wear to bed wear fresh out of the shower wear on super hot days when i need to relax a little bit your own cologne is what i wear a truly unique fresh fragrance and it is a deviant from the blue fresh fragrances that is kind of the trend right now that needs to die in my opinion but this one is awesome again performance isn't the best this one is a little more expensive but you can find it discounted some places a little bit harder to find but check it out if you haven't that is dhc dior Om cologne by dior amazing amazing designer fragrance 10 out of 10. next one is a mainstay in my collection for the winter time one of my favorite fragrances just in general this would probably be on a top 10 list for favorite favorite fragrances of all time and 
for good reason. Not only that, it's 45 bucks for 100 milliliters and it performs for 10 hours. That is Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Signature. Stunning, stunning juice. Coffee, leather, cardamom, cinnamon. Amazing, amazing fragrance. Vanilla in there, it's just to die for. This one I get compliments left, right, and center from, and for good reason. It smells amazing in the cold weather. Siage is crazy ridiculous performance. Again, great, and, but it doesn't project overly or it is it isn't overbearing. What sets this apart is that leather and that coffee. It's a suede leather. It's not like a tu Tuscan leather kind of leather. It's more of a smooth and subtle leather. Very suede, but just amazing and something that I love to wear. It has this freshness to it too that is just to die for. I haven't sprayed this in a while. That is stunning and it is a 10 out of 10. Try this juice, 45 bucks will get you this size and it's it's just so, so good. Salvatore Ferragamo Signature. Next. At the number six spot is a classic in the fragrance community too, Lemon um, Meringue Pie. You know it already. Chanel's Allure Edition Blanche and this one Stunning. Summertime gourmand, light and airy, has a vanillic edge to it. You get lemon and vanilla are the main stays in here. A little bit of vetiver in the base to keep it nice and clean, very fresh, aromatic, with that kind of vanillic undertone. And you know, vanilla is a note that everyone's going to like on you. Whether, you know, whether no matter who they are. Everyone likes a vanilla-based fragrance usually, and this one does it well. This one doesn't get discounted but I just say pick it up because it's so, so good. This is the EDP concentration. I don't know if that matters. This is all I've smelt, but stunning. This will be in my collection forever. Another mainstay, all these will. 10 out of 10, performance, great. Great performance on my skin. I get seven to eight hours depending on the day and the weather. I wear this in the spring, summer, fall, and even sometimes in the winter when I'm feeling it. I layer this with Nishane Zani and it works so, so well. Definitely check it out if you haven't. That is Chanel's Allure Homme. Edition Blanche. Next one. And at the number five spot is a fragrance that's so simple but so criminally underrated. Just like Rag and Bone Amber is, this one is as well. This one gets a little more love than Rag and Bone's Amber, but this one just does it for me in the fall time. This is a fall and winter banger on those warmer winter days, but definitely in the fall is a mainstay. And that is Robert Graham's Valor. Stunning, stunning, simplistic fragrance. Mmm. Coffee Santos, Amber, and Clary Sage. The Clary Sage in the top freshens it up. You get that spicy coffee, and a lot of people like that coffee note, and then you get that amber in the base. It is a more formal scent, so I wear this when I'm at work usually, but you can rock it casually. It is amazing. Eight hours of performance, and it's a very dry fragrance, so it doesn't smell super rich. It's light, but it performs, and that's why I like this one in the fall, because it smells dry, just like the leaves are dry, the air's a little dry, everything's dying. I know that's dark, but this just it just does it. It just does it, and this can be had for about 45 bucks and for what it is this is amazing in my opinion if you put this in a tom ford signature line and called it like amber amber coffee amber coffee ombre coffee whatever ombre cafe mm, this would sell like crazy and would be a staple in everyone's collection but robert graham did it and this is amazing concentration they call this blended essence. I don't know what that means. I think it's like an EDP level concentration, but the quality is ridiculous. All right, talked about this one too much. It's just criminally underrated and a banger. Robert Grimes Valor at the number five spot. Check it out. 45 bucks. Get a sample. Try it. Next one. At the number four spot is a winter fragrance. This is by my favorite Privé line by Designer House. And yes, Privé lines are designer because that designer does not just make fragrances. They make clothing. So does Armani. Armani is really good at making suits, but they're really good at making Myrrh Imperial by Armani Privé. This stuff is just so, so good. And these are the best designer bottles ever. I said it. Simplistic, modern, cool looking, cool shape, but a squared clean bottle with the gold plaque. Notes, Myrrh. Wow. Amazing. So surprising. Myrrh, Benzoin, vanilla are the main stays in here it's a little churchy but in the best way possible it is a mature scent you have to like myrrh to like this fragrance i heard it's getting discontinued so try it if you haven't it's just it's so good performance seven to eight hours and it is a lighter projecting fragrance but when someone gets close to you compliments 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 amazing amazing i wore i've worn this full wears twice because it's newer to my collection but it's here to stay and one of my favorites of all time 
amazing amazing fragrance beautiful bottle beautiful everything about this check it out Mer Imperial Armani Privé next up on this list is another Privé collection but it's by Christian Dior you probably know what this is this is Ambre Nui amazing amazing ambergris Turkish rose Mm, it's so good. The ambergris, it's a very light amber fragrance, but in it's it's amazing. It does the job. Date night fragrance, fall time, spring time, not heavy enough for the winter in my opinion, but the way the ambergris projects off your skin is stunning. And that Turkish rose, this is super unisex and just try it. Stunning. Some people don't like it out of the bottle. It, it transforms on the skin into something amazing. Check it out, seven to eight hours of performance. Again, it's a light amber scent because it is an amber gris based fragrance, but it is just amazing. Definitely a true timeless classic, masterpiece, whatever you wanna call it, a 10 out of 10 from me. And that is by Christian Dior, the Maison Christian Dior line, and that is Ambre Nuit. Next up on this list is my favorite blue style fragrance, something that I love, and that is criminally underrated in this line from this house. This is by Yves Saint Laurent, and this is, again, another big 200 mil, because I love it, and that is Loam Team. This was actually a blind buy. I bought this from Nordstrom Rack. I got it for like $21, and I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love. Cedar, a little bit of rose, but a masculine rose. Don't get it twisted. Lemon, cardamom, just... Stunning, stunning juice. Ginger is the main state in this fragrance, just like this will be a main state in my collection. Performance, I get seven to nine hours on this, depending on the weather, depending on how many times I spray. But this stuff is a compliment beast. There's a lady at the post office that just adores this on me. She compliments it every time I wear it. She says, why aren't you wearing that one fragrance? She's, she's like, who's it by again? I say, Yves Saint Laurent. She's like, I love that one. And I go, okay, I'll wear it next time. So anytime I have to go ship something, I try to wear this just for her. A little something special. An amazing fragrance. Blind bought it, and it is just here to stay. The way this spicy, aromatic ginger mixed with, with the rose and the cardamom with a little bit of cedar. Not the most natural smelling fragrance, but for what it is, 10 out of 10, and I absolutely love it. Stunning Juice, the most underrated loam fragrance in the line. I like this better than all the other loams, and for the reasons why I just said, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. Try it if you haven't, make sure to check it out. That is Loam Ultime by E. Saint Laurent. Now this next one is going to make some people a little upset because there are about four fragrances I could have picked to pick over this. I own Dior Homme Intense. I've smelled Valentino Womo, Valentino Womo Intense. I've smelled uh, Dior Homme Parfum but this one just does it for me when it comes to iris floral based scents this one actually has oris in it it's a little more buttery than dhi dhp um, valentino's this one this one just does it for me in that department it's a little more playful just oh my gosh just amazing the compliments i get off this are ridiculous just absolutely ridiculous this is gentlemen by Givenchy. I'm going to read the full note breakdown for you guys on this one because I think this one deserves it. It's probably my favorite designer fragrance, something that I reach for so much because it's everyone seems to love it. Black pepper, lavender, bergamot, orris, cinnamon. You have cloves in there, patchouli, vanilla, benzoin, tolu balsam, and tonka bean. Stunning, 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 stunning. Now I'm 20. Okay, this is the lipsticky vibe. I like it. I like my bottle of DHI. I wear it. It's not a 10 out of 10 for me. I wear it and the homies say, yo, you smell like baby powder. And I get it. I get it. Their noses, that's just how it smells to the average human, which is 99.8% of everyone you see, right? But this one with the vanilla and the benzoin and the little bit of patchouli and the fresh opening, but that Oris is the main player. This one is a little bit more youthful, a little bit more playful, lasts nine hours on my skin, projects perfectly. The bottle is better looking in my opinion. It is a ton more affordable. It's not discontinued. They don't come out with lame versions to replace the previous version. This one just does it for me, a 10 out of 10. Givenchy's Gentleman Eau de Parfum amazing amazing uh there's a co-worker i won't name her name every time i wear this she freaks out she hugs me and hugs me and hugs me because she loves the way it smelled her boyfriend came in we were chatting i said man go get givenchy's 
gentleman of the parfum, she will go crazy for you. He did, and he thanked me. So, Givenchy Gentleman EDP Masterpiece. 10 out of 10, my favorite iris-based fragrance, and I'm not ashamed. It is the best one on the market, in my opinion. I love it. Check it out, and that is the list. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here and liked anything you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know what videos you want to see down in the comments. I would love to do them, but stay safe, stay well, love one another, and God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.